Hey, Vinyl Community, and welcome YouTubers from everywhere. Eric Clapton on audiophile vinyl. Is that even possible? I know Eric Clapton's not very much loved in the vinyl community, but he has been prolific. He's an outstanding musician. He's probably been on a thousand different recordings. I didn't look up that number. I'm going to show and talk about a little bit of my Clapton collection today. And I'm going to tell you about some that are audiophile quality listening. And you don't want to miss them. I'm going to quickly show a few of my Clapton records. Uh, I don't have a lot of the really early stuff, and of course he's on tons of other records, Cream and all that kind of stuff. I'll be showing a couple of those where he's uh, going under a different name, but I'm saving the focus of this for a handful of records that are all great sounding, all later stuff that you don't want to miss. Record Store Day, Christmas, Eric Clapton. I don't normally buy these things, but... There's another record store day. One more car, one more rider. I love the cover. I like this record. It doesn't particularly get good reviews. Of course, one of his classics, one of his best, four and a half star rated. Really clean first press. 461 Ocean Boulevard. Very Clapton slow hand. Of course, my favorite genre is blues. I think of him not as a rocker, but as a blues guy. Oh, here's one. Derek and the Dominoes. But, of course, everybody has to have a really clean copy of this record. It's one of the classics. Love the cover on this one. Eric Clapton backless. The textured kind of cover there. Really clean, near mint. 1978, mastered at the mastering lab. Yeah, you know that one's going to sound good. Very Clapton Life in 12 Bars. I may be showing this one before. This is a big box set. And I showed this one recently. This is a 4CD box set, which I got for a dollar, dear mint condition. So that's some of my regular Eric Clapton. Now let's get on to what I think is some of the better stuff. If I got back into the vinyl community, I don't know, time flies. Six, seven, eight years ago now, this was one of the first records I picked up. Riding with the King. This record's worth it just for the cover with Eric driving that convertible and B.B. King sitting in the back seat. This is a 2014. It won the Grammy for Best Traditional Blues Album. It's a double LP, 180 gram. This is just a regular issue, but the lacquer was cut by Chris Bellman. And we're going to be naming some of these names. And when we talk about audiophile records, no, it don't have to be a double LP, 45 RPM, all the goody-goody. When I say audiophile here, I'm talking about much better than average sounding, if not great sounding. And this is an excellent sounding record. This is one of the best sounding ones. And this is one of Clapton's best albums. Now, I think some people love it. Some people hate it. There's some almost solo stuff on here. There's stuff on here where there's a lot of other instrumentation. He's got a lot of friends playing on this record. And I think it's one of the things that makes it great. This is from 2010. It's a double LP. Was mastered by Gavin Lurson. There's one of those names. But the lacquer was cut Half Speed Master by Chris Bellman. And he's the master at Half Speed Master. Pressed at Optimal. So this record made that this particular version may be a little harder to get now but this is a great sounding record one of the things i'm not going to mention the various other pressings of these records a lot of these records had two three four five different pressings or more and some of them may sound good but when i got back into it i took the time and the effort to find the best sounding copy of some of these issues I wanted. And that's what I'm showing here today. What I think is the best version. And uh, they sound great. I just want some. I just want some. Train to come along. And take me. Friends away from here. Friends take me away from here. Train to come along and take. 
continue away from here Train come along and take me away from here And that's no way for me to get along I still do, yes I still do From 2016, one of his most recent recordings Original Master by Bob Bloodwig Locker Cut by Bernie Grunman. Again, we're talking about those names. This was pressed at MPO, and my favorite tune on here was Bob Dylan's song, I Dreamed I Saw St. Augustine. This uh, is a great-sounding record, and uh, I think probably a lot of people have this. Eric Clapton, in his old age, is not the same guy he was when he was young and wild. And so give these things a try, and this is just an outstanding record all the way around and a great sounding record. Clapton Unplugged, of course, one of his biggest selling records of all time. Probably if you guys got any Clapton, you have this one. I have several different versions. I have the CD. Uh, This was recorded in 1992, but in 2011, Record Store Day, 3,500 limited edition copies, 2011, Lacquer Cut by Bernie Grunman, Pressed at Palace. This is an audiophile record, and of course it's one that everybody should enjoy. A lot of the people that like blues, like really the old-time blues, Robert Johnson, probably the most famous of all the early blues guitarists and composers, This is Eric's Tribute, all Robert Johnson tunes, 2004 Tribute. This is an excellent sounding record. Didn't make notes about this, but uh, this is a good one, and if you get a chance, pick this one up. Okay, down to my two favorites. These are great sounding records, and neither one of them is an Eric Clapton record. But Eric is on them. One of my favorite records, Delaney and Bonnie, Motel Shot. This is a recent reissue, less than two years ago, Run Out Groove. Sound quality on this is outstanding. It's a double LP. It's got extras that were not on the original album. If you like this album, go out and find the Run Out Groove. may still be available. But I love this. Of course, they're simulating like they were doing all of this in a motel room. It was done in a studio. Got a bunch of guest people on it besides Delaney and Bonnie and Eric Clapton in there. And so just a great record. What's my favorite Eric Clapton record? J.J. Kale and Eric Clapton. Of course, I love J.J. Kale. Escondido, the name of this album, The Road to Escondido. Uh, This is a 2006 issue, pressed at RTI, Half Speed Master by Stan Ricker. You want something, J.J. Kale, Eric Clapton, an audiophile sounding record. Get a copy of this record. Check this out on Discogs. I think you can get an excellent copy for $70 plus. A lot of you may say $70 for Eric Clapton. Whoa, I'm telling you, this record is worth it. Again, they recorded this in kind of a big old house. It has some guest people on it. And this wasn't a commercial focus. They were having fun. They were doing what they want to do. And that's one of the things that makes this album so good. So that's kind of a quick look at Eric Clapton and my Eric Clapton, and in particular, audiophile Eric Clapton. So you go out and get a couple of these, and I say keep them spinning, and see you down the Escondido Trail. Happy trails to you, until we meet again.